everywhere are flocking to their church. They're traveling by any means needed to make it for a very special event. They're traveling by air, water, rail, automobiles, even by bus. So what is their special quest? Well, it's to hug their pastor. That's right, they're traveling far and wide to hug their pastor and say thank you for being their spiritual leader. This special event is Pastor Appreciation Day. So if you've not hugged your pastor today and said thank you, you should do that right now. Help us celebrate Pastor Appreciation Day by giving a warm thank you to your pastor. Welcome to the Messages Through Social Media Show. I'm Jordan. And I'm Doc. We're here today to show you some messages that people have sent in to show their appreciation for their pastors. Now, that's great, Jordan. But why are we in black and white? And why are we stuck in this old TV? You know, I noticed that too. I think I have a way we can get out of here. Now, these old TVs are mostly <laughs> made of wood and glass. Doc, I don't think we need to do that. All we need to do is ask our editor to change the screen and give us some color. Watch. Wow, that was really cool. Now we can get back to why we're here, to show some messages of appreciation. That's right. So we're going to roll with some messages that people have sent from all over the country to show their appreciation for their pastors. Let's look at some of those messages now. Those were really great messages. Yeah, they really show how people appreciate what their, what their pastors do. It's true. It's all part of Pastor Appreciation Day. Well, thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time on The Social Media Show. It's Sunday morning. Do you know where your pastor is? If not, you need to reach out to them and tell them how much you appreciate them. There's a lot of ways you can get in contact with your pastor. The most common is email, phone, text, but the best way is in person. So make sure the next time you see him, you go up and tell him how much you appreciate him. After all, it is Sunday. This public service announcement is for churches everywhere. This announcement is brought to you by Liberty Baptist Church in Strasburg, Virginia. No pastor, child, other adult, small dog, bird, cat, lion, tiger, or grizzly bear was injured in the making of this public service announcement. If you are not in church when you see this and need to get there, do not rush, since safety is of the utmost importance. If you are in church during this message, do not run while you are going to have to thank him. Running in church can be dangerous to your health and to the health of others around you and is never recommended. I'm coming to you live from Liberty Baptist Church, Strasburg, Virginia, where we're preparing to thank two very special and important men this Pastor Appreciation Sunday. You're about to hear some thanks and interesting stories from the congregation. Okay, do you remember what the theme is that we've been 
talking about in our sword drills. Pastor Warren, I want to thank you for all your faithful service and dedication to our church and to the Lord and all that you've done for me and my family, and I greatly appreciate it. I don't know a lot of people that can joke around with their pastor or can feel like they can just go up and like talk to him, but he makes it easy to do, and he's just a fun guy to be around. He teaches us more and more about God every Sunday and Wednesday nights. Thank you, Pastor Warren, for just always being able to put a smile on my face no matter what mood I'm in. Thank you, Pastor Warren, for being such a great pastor, a great father, and a great husband, and just for everything you do for everybody. We love you and we thank you. He makes everyone, I think, feel very comfortable and at home. You have been in a real inspirement as far as my spiritual growth, and I don't say that about many people, because I think you're pretty cool, too. Love you, man. You're awesome, and thank you. Thank you to you for all your spiritual guidance and uh, just being a great man of, God, a man of God and a great example to me uh, when I was growing up in the church and then through high school, and now even when I come back. It's kind of loud, but sometimes that's what I need to hear. I'd like to thank Preacher Man for um, allowing me to stay here for 10 years and putting up with me. Of course, I put up with you too. He's funny and he makes his services enjoyable. They're good. Uh, look up to. Uh, try to model yourself after. We appreciate you. We love you for that. Van and I both. I just wanted to say thank you, uh, Pastor Warren, just for everything that you do for us for being a spiritual leader and um, for showing me the right way and for giving me your reasons. So, the pitch of the root. Now, a particular pitch that you sing by, the key or the note or the melody, all right? That's a pitch. If he pitched that, he could have sang inside and outside. That could have been on there, all right? To lead uh, a card of a particular suit, therefore fixing that suit as a trump. So it's in a card game. Or to plunge or fall forward or headlong. I've never heard of that one. So. Next time you trip going down the stairs, you just pitched yourself. All right? Does that sound good or what? No. Thank you, Pastor Dusty. Just want to thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity to be able to work with these kids. And thank you for being an amazing, godly man. Thank you, Pastor Dusty, for um, making church so that I actually want to come. You're really fun and you make it fun. He's funny and plays fun games with us. He's always like, he's always there for you, no matter what. Pastor Dusty, I greatly appreciate all the outreach you do and your ministry within the youth through through the youth sports and the racing and the derby cars. I appreciate everything you've done and your faithfulness to the church. Thank you to Dad. Uh, I love you. Always give advice when we're down and you always know what to say to pick us up when we are down. I thank you for it and I love you. You were an integral part of my leadership development and helping me get to the uh, the academy. And um, you know, I thought it'd be easy leaving home and, and being able to stick to all the things I ever learned, but it wasn't. And uh, a lot of the times, your example is what really helped me through. Thanks for the inspiration that you are uh, leading me and working with the kids in the Good News Club. It's it's been a, a, a real blessing for me, and thank you for recognizing uh, a need, and I was able to fill it. God bless you. I remember first coming into the youth group. I was talking to a lot of the kids that were already in the youth group and they were telling me about his pink shoes that he wore to all of these events, but I seriously have never seen them. He's really fun and I enjoy hanging out with him. Thank you Pastor Dusty for being an awesome youth pastor. I just appreciate how hard you work with the youth and the great example you are to everybody, but especially the young people. Thank you very much. We've just seen amazing, amazing things happen here with the teens, um, how they were very young, some of them when they came, and now they're in college. And I'm sure they're looking back at the years that they've had here growing up uh, through your ministry and uh, with Dina as well. What I like about Pastor Dusty is he's always really supportive of everyone and he's always welcoming even to new people. Uh, I'd like to thank Pastor Dusty and Pastor Warren for everything they're doing that they do to help the kids in the church, to help the support of the families that we have that come in and out needing help. They help me with my children. 
a thousand times, I don't know what I would do without them because there's times I really need their help. Um, I really do appreciate everything you guys do. You're great pastors. I enjoy seeing you coming to church here. My kids enjoy it here. I love you guys to death with everything you've done. Okay, thank you, Pastor Warren and Dad. Thanks. Thank you for everything that you do for us all the time. Thank you, Pastor Dusty and Pastor Warren. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Warren. Thank you, PD. Thank you. That's certainly a lot of appreciation. Thank you so much, Pastor Warren and Pastor Dusty, for everything you do for us. This is Taylor DePola, Liberty Baptist Church, Strasburg, Virginia. Have you seen either of these two men? Both Pastor Warren and Pastor Dusty are wanted for pastor appreciation. Pastor Warren also goes by pastor, preacher man, but mostly preacher. He can be found in the pulpit, working on vehicles, or doing construction work for churches. One thing is for sure, he is always, and I mean always, close to a Bible. That's right, you can often see him carrying God's word with him in either his hand or in his memory. Pastor Dusty also goes by PD. He is often seen with sporting equipment, since he does a lot of work in his gym. The main thing that gives him away is that everywhere he goes, children of all ages are drawn to him. If you see either of these men, give them a big hug and say thank you for doing God's work. If you don't see them, you need to text them, email them, call them, or drive to Liberty Baptist Church as soon as possible. Do it! Do it now! What are you doing? You're not allowed to be filming me.